What's up guys, it's Greta and I have another character style for you. So today's character that we are going to be recreating the hairstyle for is Master Assassin Fennec Shand. And this is a Star Wars character. I would assume if you're watching this, you probably know. Um, but if you don't, she is, she was in the Mandalorian series. Um, and then she ended up being with like Boba Fett at the end of that series. I apologize if you haven't seen it. I should say this I might have some spoilers. She is in the Boba Fett series that just came out. It has one, as of now, it has one, uh, episode. So her hairstyle is really complex and I had to do some digging to really figure this out and so this is my best interpretation of what I think the hairstyle is. Um, so this is not going to be crazy in depth because I'm going to assume you know how to do braids um, and if you don't I will leave the links to the tutorials of the specific braids we'll be doing in this tutorial uh, down below. Um, we're going to be doing a like a three strand braid where you're adding in hair. So we're going to be doing Dutch braids because they're visible. You'll see them. And then um, we're going to be doing fishtails. If you don't know how to do those, watch the tutorials and then you can achieve this style. Uh, so this is going to be a lot of braiding. So I don't want to add all of it into the video or else this is going to be crazy long. So I'm just gonna show you the partings and I'm gonna tell you what braid, I'll, I'll show you a little bit of the braiding and then um, we'll just kind of zoom through or just skip to where I have the braids done um, and then go to like the next step, talk through and then finish it up. There's some fun aspects to this as well where we are going to need some red thread. So if you don't have that, I suggest you get it. You can still do it without it, but it won't be as like recognizable as her style. So uh, let's jump right into the sectioning and we'll go from there. So let's break down the sectioning. This is the look that we are going for. She has five braids and they are going to be one down the middle, two down to like the hairline and back and then two in between those. So the two down the hairline start at the hairline, but she leaves like these pieces out. Um, and then they like kind of stop and then go up. And then these ones go back and this one goes back, but only to like here. And then they kind of go into a ponytail and then that ponytail is wrapped with hair and then turns into two fishtails that we're gonna kind of wrap together. And um, so that's the goal, okay? So I'm gonna just kind of start sectioning it for the first three. Create a rounded shape parting at the crown of your head. Then take the front pieces out by continuing the rounded shape. These are going to be left out of the braid as well as parts of the first braids that we're going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up with my tail comb and then continue on the other side. Once you're here, we're going to go ahead and take this center portion and throw it up in a bun so it's out of the way while we create the first braids, which are going to be on the sides, which you see hanging down. Clean up that middle part with your rat tail comb and take the back of the hair and section that off into two parts. One side is the right and one side is the left braid. Go ahead and secure one side so it's out of the way while you braid the other side. Select some pieces to leave out of the braid before you start braiding. Then we're going to begin braiding by taking small section here breaking it into three pieces and doing a Dutch braid. You can see I'm starting with small pieces because I want the braids to be tight and more like cornrows than loose.
Okay, a few stitches past the ear, we're gonna stop. We're gonna braid a little bit more and put it in an elastic and we're gonna leave the rest of this hair out because that's gonna be pulled back up into the ponytail and then this ends up going straight up into the ponytail too. So go ahead and just secure that a little bit further past and then um, up to where that ponytail will be where the other braids are going to end. Okay, go ahead and repeat this on the other side. Now that we've completed the two front side braids, we're going to move on to the center braid. So let's go ahead and take this out. Here we're going to create the part for the center braid and by doing that we'll be creating the parts for the other two middle braids. Create a rounded shape on one side, remembering you can always clean this up after, and do the same on the other side. Once you're content with the shape of the middle part you created, put that in a bun so it's out of the way while you start braiding the side braids. I kept some of this footage in so that you could see how small my sections were in the beginning of each braid. Be sure to keep them small and tight as they are basically cornrows, and you want them to be nice and close to the head. So now that I've completed these braids, okay, they come back and they're all gonna come back into a ponytail there. Um, I'm gonna do the top and then I'll come back after that. I do have a tutorial on how to braid tightly. So if you want to use that as a reference, I'll leave that video link in the description box below. With all the braids done, I wanted to give you a quick view of what it looks like. We are now going to begin the ponytail. So what I did was take the three ponytails and wrap that around the base of where the middle one ended. Then I took the two side braids and took an elastic. I just wanted to make sure that that was very obvious where they were pulled up and kind of on top of the other braids. So that's why I didn't add it into the initial rubber band. Now we're going to brush this hair that was left out of the bottom braids up and into the ponytail here. So I'm just adding a second ponytail holder there. This did end up being kind of tight but that's okay. Now you can take out the elastics that are left in the braids and unbraid those areas. We're then taking a section of hair, wrapping it around to hide the ponytail and pinning it in place. All right. Normally, I like to use my topsy-turvy, but I just moved and I have no idea where it is. Not where it's supposed to be, um, and I don't know where to go from there. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take our ponytail and we're going to section it in half in this way. And then fishtail those two sections. Oh, it's going to be a lot of work. Fish tails take a long time. <laughs> My arms are so tired already. Um, I think I'm gonna have to take a snack break. We have now come to the exciting part, which is also going to be tricky. So both of the fish tails are done, but before we like wrap them together, we are going to do the red thread. So I took one of these, um, it's embroidery floss. I did my like wingspan twice. And so I have this long thread and the two ends came together at one side. Then that's how you're going to find the middle at the other side, okay. And then what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be really quite tricky, is this is gonna make crisscrosses in here, in here, in here, and in here. So I'll do one section <laughs> and um, I'll do it with you guys. Basically, I wanna start it here and pull this end through this side and this end through this side and then crisscross. So let's get in close. So I just kind of want to hold 
that center and then I'm gonna take a hairpin uh, opposed to a bobby pin. I wanna poke that through with the closed side this way through the braid. And then you wanna thread the thread through the hairpin. And an easy way of doing that is taking another hairpin, putting the thread through it already, and then taking the ends of the one hairpin through the other hairpin, and then as you pull that through the thread, and unfortunately some of my hair there, <laughs> will get pulled through. So just pull that through. Remember, it's so long, so this is definitely catching on my hair. Okay, now that's through, and we are going to pull that back through, why is it this one? through this way, you might have to kind of help it. And then you can kind of release that. I know this is quite a process. Um, and then pull it through. Ooh, and then fix the hair. All right, that's uh, one side through. So now I've threaded that there. Let's do the other side. Poke that through here. Get the thread. Poke that pin through the other pin. Don't let this one go. Using the hairpins is just one method that you could use to achieve this threaded look. The other thing you could do is your topsy-turvy, which would be like a loop tool, super handy, much easier. Another way is to actually use the loop or rounded curved needle. You use those for like sewing in wefts. I actually do use those at work when I sew in extension wefts. That would be another handy method of sewing in the thread. And you just keep crisscrossing. So if it's out on this side, flip it over, bring it to the other side and go down like an inch or more, maybe two inches. And just keep going. All right, guys, just continue that process all the way down in each section. What I ended up doing was pulling one side of the thread shorter so that the ends hung out like that. I ended up tying them together and then cutting off the ends of those two sections that I already done about foot past my braid because they will be woven into the braid later. Okay, the fish stills are done. The thread is done. I feel like Spider-Man, but that's okay. Uh, the ends of the two on this side are what's going to be threaded through this fishtail. I actually went ahead and did it on this one already. And I'll just quickly show you guys um, what I did. I kind of tied off the ends together in the back. I don't really know if you can see. I couldn't see, I just did it. 
So instead of using the hairpins again, for this I just used my fingers to open up the center of the braid and pull the thread through. You do that on the outside and then the inside of the braid or the back or the front, however you want to call it. And you just keep doing that all the way down the braid. Basically you're just sewing it through. Once you've completed threading the fishtail, we're going to take both of them and rope braid them together. After they've rope braided together, secure the ends with an elastic along with the threads. Then wrap the thread around in a kind of thick area, and then we're going to pull the end of that thread through itself with a hairpin. We're going to stick this through here. We're going to stick that last piece of thread through that, pull it back under, and that kind of secures it in place. And that is the finished style only took me like four hours but anyway here's the final spin <laughs> well guys Oh, I see I have, I left one out. Um, please ignore that. Uh, and I will just tie that in. But yeah, that is the look um, of Fennec Shand. And uh, she's the assassin from the new Boba Fett series on Disney Plus, but also from The Mandalorian, also on Disney Plus. Um, you guys can probably tell I watch a lot of Disney Plus <laughs> from all the videos that I make. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I also tried to wear like a collared shirt because her top is kind of collared. Um, it's like this short little thing that goes over the rest of her crazy cool outfit. But I usually just try and do something that resembles it a little bit based off of what I have at home. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a like because I poured my heart and soul into this style and it was really hard and took me many hours. I'd appreciate a like and a comment. And if you subscribe, even better. That would be awesome. And if you do so, please hit the notification bell and um, you will hear when my next videos come out. Maybe a character style, maybe something else, just a hair tutorial. Um, but yeah, again, if you guys need to know how to do braids, fishtails, rope braid, any of those, I have those in my Back to the Basics playlist. And um, if you're interested in seeing any other characters, I have, a whole, I have a whole character playlist that you can watch as well. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.